Hello fellow engineers and welcome to a little to the left, a phrase I use many times as my time as a civil engineer. Now I know in my previous videos on pretty much every game I've made some enemies. I'm not very good at complying to the needs of the OCD community. So essentially I'm going to do my straight throughs. So there's one and there's the other one. Ideally, <laughs> ideally it was a bit straighter. There's no one doing this game. Oh man, this line in particular is going to kill some OCD people. <laughs> All those people with OCD. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, unsymmetrical wings, because I forgot to start building in the middle, so... <laughs> it's a nice wonky bridge, just how we like it. Which is why I thought I'd play this, a puzzle game made for the ocd -er. I have a really bad feeling about this. So, let's get into it. We've got a photo of a cat. And what a lot of you may have noticed is this photo is on the wonk. Yes, that is the technical term. Uh, so we just need to... We just need to make it straight. And there we go, we get a star. We passed the puzzle. And then our next one, the bloody cat's left his toys on the floor. <laughs> what do we do? We just plonk him back in the basket. Can we, can we launch him? <laughs> no. What is this? It's like a, it's like a carrot crossed with a pineapple. Genetically modified parrot. <laughs> and once we've tidied up, oh, doesn't that feel better, everyone? Doesn't that feel better? And what do we have here? Someone's been scribbling across multiple post-its. Oh, there's only one thing to do. Ah, oh, much better. Much better. <laughs> All yeah, right, no, let's think about this logically. So that one's going to go on the left. That one's going to go on the right. And then we've just got to sort out the middly ones. All right, so what goes next to that one? Could it be this one? No, I don't think so. It could be this one. Yes. And then that one. And then that one. Oh, yes. That is satisfying. All right, the next level. We've got an orange, a pear, and an apple. And they're covered in fruit stickers. And I've got a story about this. So in our house, like many houses, we have a fruit bowl in our kitchen, often filled with fruit. Uh, what I like to do, and I've done this for like years and years and years, I, I pick up my apple, see? Uh, notice it's got a sticker or two on it, and I peel them off, and then I take that sticker and I put it on another bit of fruit in the bowl. So my apple, remove those stickers, shove it on the pear, and then I'll eat my apple up, lovely. And then the apple's eaten, come to next day, I want an orange. So I'll, I'll grab the sticker, shove that on the pear. Oh, there's another one. Shove that on the pear. And then eat that up. Right, and then by the end of the week, there's like one bit of fruit that's just all sticker. In fact, if we spin these around, yes, look, there's more stickers. I'll show you exactly how it looks. <laughs> Yeah, so this is realistic Matt's fruit bowl simulator. Yeah, and then usually I won't eat that bit of fruit. I'll make my girlfriend eat it because I can't be asked to peel all the stickers off. Uh, but yes, to solve this puzzle, we need to remove all the stickers and listen to this noise as well. Ready? Ugh. That's a horrible noise. I don't even want to know how they got the sound effect for that. Yeah, but literally you just pull the sticker off and flop it down. So we can make it snow stickers, making it rain, baby. And uh, there we go. Our fruit is completely sticker free. Right, this next level, we've got a load of books. And it looks like they're on a bookshelf, but they're not in the right order. So using the power of OCD, how do we want to order these? I assume little to big. Is that the best thing for OCD people? Or is it thick to thin or color to color? I don't know enough about the disease that is OCD, but I reckon if we do it in order, well, that's quite satisfying, actually. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at it. And um, we, we got the stars. We won the game. Oh, and now we have loads of keys. All right, so we got sort of normal looking keys. We got we got a fancy key. My mum's got one like that for the old, where the posh glasses go in the house. I have guests are coming over. Go open the old glass cupboard get the nice glasses out uh, this one has like a illuminati vibe and then up there we've got a telegraph pole on its side and a radiator key what am i meant to do with these am i meant to order these smallest to largest or am i meant to combine them into the mega key the key that unlocks all locks uh no probably not i think we're just meant to put them in order so something like that that one can probably go there telegraph pole on the end you there oh swap those two around oh doesn't that feel better ocd people Yes, it does. Was that only one star? Why did I only get one star for that? Uh, <laughs> is this is this really a thing that winds people up? Like a dinner plate setting? Does it need to be straight? You gotta have your knives and forks straight. Your plate straight, but your knives and forks are wrong way round. Does that really annoy people as well? Like, that looks fine to me. I know it's the wrong way round, but like you just pick them up and swap hands. It's not that big of a deal. But apparently it is. Apparently it is. But actually, I feel like that is a more... Like that's a bit more sensible, isn't it? Can I, like, throw these off the screen? No, I can't. It won't let me get rid of them completely. Right, okay. Let's complete the level. Oh, there's a, there's a cat pot. You cheeky. Did you see that? Did you see that? Oi, oi. Bog off. All right, next time, I'll stab him with a knife. Oi, uh, oi, get off. Oh, this is, this is, oi. Get back, you cheeky cat bastard. All right, quick, Matt. Quick. No, 
Bog off. I did it, but I didn't do it. Come on, one more. We've done it. We've done it. I'm going to stab you, cat. I'm going to stab you. All right, there we go. Level completed. Screw you, cat. All right, what the hell are you meant to do with this? It's just a mess of, like, receipts and... What is this? An old bit of tape. I'm sure there's, like, OCD people screaming at me, like, you idiot, you got to put them in order or something. I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. Oh, that went up there. That just did a ding. That means it's in the right place. Why is that one in the right place? Why is this so hard? All right, that one goes down there. How is anyone meant to know this? All right, here we go. We're getting there now. I'm I'm sort of seeing I'm seeing it now. So you go in there, Mr. Koala. You can go there. And the tapey thing can go in that bit. Oh, I understand now. We're making a nice square pattern. I thought we were stacking them. Oh, God, what is this? Oh, it's a drawer. Oh, don't say... Oh, really? I have to... Every single thing I've got to plonk somewhere, do I? Oh, God. <laughs> This is just tidying simulator. Right, where the hell would I put matches? In there? All right, candles in those ones. Matches there. No, do they fit? I think they fit perfectly, actually. I mean, we could close the box of matches, but no, that looks a lot neater. If we put these pins up there, we got some dice or some die. That's another... Oh, God. Oh, God. Those two aren't happy. Those two aren't happy. Let's add more to it. Oh, God. Oh, man, it's like, it's like they're multiplying. All right, there we go. That's perfect. I'm guessing we stack batteries down here, do we? No, we don't have enough. We only have four. They must go in this one. So where the hell do these candles go? I thought they went down there. Do they fit in there? Does that count as fit? There's another candle. Bloody hell. Oh, there's loads of candles. Hang on. There's loads of candles. They're sort of going... Do they fit in this? I think they fit up here. Here we go. Here we go, boys. The big candle on the end. That one next to it. Oh, God. The dice aren't happy. The dice aren't happy. That one there. There's another candle there. Is that better? Is that good? All right, crayons go there. I reckon... I was going to say pens go in there, but no, they got a good orientation. So, all right. All right, tape definitely goes in that one. Scissors. Oh, scissors got there, not the pens. Okay, scissor, you're in there. Maybe crayons go down here. Do they need to be in a special order as well? <laughs> I'm so out of touch. Well, actually, they do need to be like rainbow style, don't they? Is that better? Is that the order of the rainbow? Red and orange and yellow and green and blue. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. Yeah, uh, so pens must go up there. What the hell is this? A broken screwdriver. Okay. Oh, we've got a tape measure. You know that little bit at the end, you can just put it in. Like, that. you literally can just, like, push that and pull it down. This isn't how tape measures are meant to look. All right, whistle in there. Glasses. Oh, we've got another candle. All right, there's only a few things remaining. And I'm not convinced I've done all of these right. Maybe paper clips actually go side by side. <laughs> Surely not. I think they might do. So if we put that down there, cotton bud in there, we're nearly done. I think the die, dice, die, maybe they go in this one. And then the two buttons go in those holes. Oh, it didn't ding. It didn't ding. Oh, do they, these have to go in order, don't they? You serious, game? Are you actually serious? So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's got to be OCD compliant, surely. <laughs> Can I just shut this drawer? I've had enough of this. Unless, are these the wrong way around? Do they need to be red at the top? Like that? Man, I'm really showing my lack of OCD awareness. This looks perfect to me. Why is it not perfect? All right, we might have to swap some similar things. What about... What about... Like, that doesn't fit as well. I'm sorry. If this is right, I'm kicking off. Okay, it's not right. What if they swap? That one's sort of hanging out. No, that's bull, game. That's bull. <laughs> Terrible. I... No. All right, what do we have here? We got loads of pencils and we got sharpenings. All right, let's just grab everything we got. So I'm guessing put them in order. I need to redeem myself from last time. So we do that. And then what do we do with these sharpening? Oh, we just, we just lob them. Oh, there we go. Get away. Get away. Nice. Oh, what does the... There's different scribbles on each one. So maybe we don't put them in size order. We... It's got to be something to do with the scribbles. I thought this would be quite OCD compliant though. Guess not. All right, let's take some of these off. What if we start with that one and then we do the double scribble and then the triple scribble and maybe we keep that in the middle and then we do that on that side. Oh, was it that? There was a tiny bit of... There's a tiny bit of sharpening hiding. So is that good? No. Game says no. All right, then. How about the opposite way round? So it goes big, small, and then... Oh, it did. You bloody cat. <laughs> hey, we got a star. What was the other star for? Are there, like, bonus challenges? I don't know. That was actually quite a lot of fun. Cheeky little puzzle game. And I've learned a lot about OCD, and hopefully my viewers now know that I don't do it on purpose. I'm just completely incompetent in satisfying people in that way. Wow. Please don't take that sentence out of context. <laughs>
Right, well anyway, that was another game that proved why I'm a dog person, not a cat person. If you liked the video, boost your like button. And if you like the game, go give it a wish list. But otherwise, guys, I'll say peace, love, and annoying cats with OCD problems. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.